Hey, what's going on, guys? Back to cover this prize picks plays for this NBA slate tonight. A couple of games that I just talked about for DraftKings and Fando. You can check that video out if you wanted to. This one, take like five minutes or so and touch on some of the prize picks that look somewhat interesting, at least to get us started for the day. So, as always, if you enjoy the picks, hit the like button for me. You can check out all these socials down in the comments below or in the description. And the first guy we will touch on is Butler. He's at 21 and a half. He's looked he looked really good last game in terms of scoring. He hit he missed two free throws at the end of the game, which probably could have put him at 24 if he hit both. But overall, Butler's playing pretty well right now, playing with some confidence. He does give you upside to get uh, assist and rebounds. So you could we'll see what his uh, points, rebounds, assist number looks like. But he's one guy that potentially don't mind. But that would also be a little bit dependent on the Kyle Lowry news if you're looking to take his assist or anything like that. Harden has another poor game in terms of getting you a lot of points scored. I think it's like seven or eight games in a row in the playoffs. He's dropped under 25 points. Uh, the first guy that I like a lot is Bam at 18 and a half. You know, right now, Embiid is listed as out. We'll see if he gets upgraded throughout the day. I'm not 100% sure he will or not. I have no strong feel. Uh, but anyways, Bam at this number is still a solid one. Um, if there is no Paul Reed, and, yeah, I mean, if there's no Embiid, he's going up against Paul Reed. He's going up against DeAndre Jordan. This number should be very easy to hit. And if Embiid does play, it's not like he can't hit 18 and a half. They will still have to have Bam out there for a lot just to defend Embiid and still going to be looking to get some shots up. So that's one that I feel good about. Another one that I really like is Tobias over 17 and a half. He's hit that three straight games. And, you know, especially you might want to wait about the Embiid news, but if Embiid gets ruled out, this number could go up a little bit. I feel like they priced these guys similar to expecting to Embiid to miss. We saw this, like, Tobias was 16 and a half, I think in game one. Maxi was right around this number, if not exactly this number last game. But they're going to need these guys to step up. They're back at home in Philly. Should maybe be played at more of a more of Philly's pace instead of playing at Miami's pace, just being at home. Strews 11 and a half. I mean, can't really feel good about this one unless we know the Kyle Lowry news. Maxi 20 and a half, another one that I like. I like Maxi and Tobias is points more than taking Harden's points. No interest in playing a guy like PJ Tucker. Uh, I like Luca at 32 and a half. It's a big number. Maybe today some of his teammates step up, but Luca will still have to do his thing at home. And then Booker at 25 and a half. He got there in the end of the game. Not a terrible number either. You know, 24 and a half would probably make me feel a little bit better. Another one on the Mavs that I like. I mean, you could go to Brunson at 16 and a half and take his over, but I like going to Finney Smith to bounce back today. He's only 10 and a half points. He's hit that in four out of five and some of these easily. Last game, only two points. Now they're back at home in Dallas. I think he will definitely step up. We have Reggie Bullock, only eight and a half. This number is also pretty solid. He's a guy that can get there with just hitting three threes. We saw some of his prize picks numbers earlier in the playoffs be at like two and a half threes. Uh, not a bad number on Dinwiddie at 11.5, but another one on the Mavs that I like is taking the over 8 points on Maxi Kleber. They've got nothing out of uh, Dwight Powell, so I wouldn't be surprised if they go to Maxi Kleber quickly and early in the game. He didn't have any threes last game, but was finished with 9 fantasy or 9 points scored. Uh, played close to 30 minutes, about 28 minutes last game, and another guy that will continue to get good minutes uh, just with his ability to stretch the floor and hit some threes. So those are four guys that I like just taking the over on their points scored. We don't have too many. I don't have great reads on the assists. It's tough to without knowing about Kyle Lowry. So tough for me to look at Butler or Bam right now. Harden has, hasn't made me feel good about this number either at nine assists. We saw them kind of limit Trey Young in the first series and Harden. Same type of deal. Some of his players aren't hitting shots and they are not making it easy for Harden to get um, easy assists in this one in the series. Uh, Maxi is just looking to score, so three and a half assists is maybe one that you can take the under. Uh, hasn't hit that in the, either of the uh, games in this series. Luca at seven and a half assists. It's going to be right around this number, I'd expect, just because he's going to have to score a lot for this team to have a shot, and he's going to have to be aggressive looking for a shot. I uh, don't mind taking the over four and a half assists on Devin Booker. And then you have only two and a half assists on Dinwiddie. Maybe we'll be right around this number as well on the rebounds board you have butler six and a half and all these butler and harden at six and a half rebounds on the sixer side it's going to be important to see about Embiid before you feel good about taking the overs on these numbers i don't mind taking the over on tobias 
Uh, he's been a little bit less crashing the glass in this series, but still gives you that upside, especially if there is no Embiid. So I'm kind of staying away from the Sixers over on their rebounds just without knowing the status of their best player. And then on the Miami side, I think some of these numbers are priced appropriately at BAM 9.5. He had like 11 the first game, 9 the second game, or 12 the first game. Uh, we have Struz 3.5. I mean, don't want to take the over on or under on those types of numbers, so probably pass on the rebounds. So on the Mavs, don't mind taking the over on Luka. Some of these games, he's really aggressive, crashing the glass, gets you double-double, if not triple-double ups, upsides in these types of playoff games. Finney Smith over only four and a half rebounds. Only had one last game, but he played limited minutes. So if he gets back to 40 minutes, should be able to have that number. But I like his points a little bit better. And Maxi Kleber, another one that I like his points better. But also the rebounds isn't out of the world. Bullock, four and a half. He's been getting you rebounds. Last game had finished with four exactly. But maybe his points look better. Like eight and a half is probably better than expecting five rebounds from Bullock. If any of these points, rebounds, assists, I mean Butler will be one to consider at 32 and a half. Bam, if you're not taking his points. Tobias, if you're not taking his points again. Maxi, might as well just take his points. He hasn't done much in the points, rebounds, assists, especially in rebounds and assists. It's just been mainly a scorer in the series. Uh, Luca at 50 points, rebounds, assists. He looks okay. Uh, Brunson has struggled so far this series. Maybe he steps up nicely. I mean, he wasn't even sweating this type of number in the Jazz series, and now against Phoenix, hasn't really shown anything. Uh, uh, Reggie Bullock, he's at, been around this number this entire postseason. Would I mind taking the over on him? But some of these points look a little bit better to me, and that's kind of it. Three points made. I would not have no confidence in Harden getting me three threes. This is maybe one that you can take the under on. Like the Heat are making it tough for some of these Sixers players to even get their shot off. So under two and a half threes on Harden wouldn't be something that I, I mean, it would be something that I would consider. Danny Green went he just hit one three. He had like one of ten from the floor last game. Maxi had one three. So taking the unders on like Maxi or James Harden, I definitely don't hate. Devin Booker two and a half threes. It's on the road, but is one that you can take the over on. Um, and then I don't feel good about taking Cam Johnson over one and a half. Kleber one and a half looks okay, but I like his points better. Like that's six points right there when you just need a basket or maybe two free throws to get you eight. Uh, blocks and steals. You got a lot of guys at one and a half. Butler is always a good one to get you, uh, or at least block shots to get you some defensive stats. Or just steals in general. Butler at one and a half steals. He's hit at least two, five straight games. You know he's known for that. Brunson, 0.5 steals. Got that four straight games. Gotten you at least one steal. Uh, see what he's averaging. Um, been right around uh, one plus in the postseason. So he's one that you can feel, if you wanted to extend this to make it a five man, that's fine. But otherwise, just I would rather just take the points. Then maybe sweat Brunson, but you can make this a you know, 10x either way. If you're looking to make uh, like a flex, you can put in Brunson over one steal or go under James Harden's threes. Uh, but I like these points uh, numbers that I'm taking the overs on. So that's what I got. The Prize Picks plays today. Thank you for watching. Best of luck if you're looking to get signed up on Prize Picks. You can use my code Process. And they'll get you a 100% deposit match up to $100. Best of luck tonight, and I'll see you all next time.